Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name's Ellie, and I'm officially a junior at the University of Georgia because today is my first day of summer. Technically, classes don't end until next Monday, and it's currently Saturday, but I just had my last final last night at 7 p.m., so I'm officially done, and today my best friend and I are going to Atlanta, and we're kind of celebrating our birthdays super early, kind of just doing one last hurrah together, so that is what we are about to do. I'm going to head in the car, pick her up from her house, and we are going to Atlanta. Not sure how much I'll film because it's a big content day for us. We're gonna be taking pictures and running around the city, but I will try to get clips for you guys. If not, this is going to be a first week of summer vlog, so there'll be lots more fun content, but I'm quickly gonna show you my outfit before I head out the door. I'm currently in a denim jacket. Not gonna wear that. It's just like 50 degrees outside right now. I'm gonna wear this little bra top from Urban Outfitters. That's black and buttons up. I have a little Kendra Scott necklace on and then these shorts that I got from McCall Mitchell's like clothing sale and they were brand new free people knit flowy shorts that I'm absolutely obsessed with and then I just have my blight black like my black Nike Air Force One Sage Low sneakers and these are my nails that I just did the other day. They're like a yellow sunshiny floral manicure. So that is my outfit and now I'm gonna go pick up my friend and I will see you guys in Atlanta. and happy Sunday, happy Mother's Day. I am not doing anything to celebrate either of those occasions. And I'm fully aware that I was an awful vlogger yesterday. Literally, I only filmed non-talking like montage clips. And then Sarah and I got back to Athens at like 7 p.m. and I was hungry, so I just made food. I went through and edited pictures and just did stuff on my laptop. So it was a chaotic day and I just did not film anything, but I still wanna include those clips in this video and I still wanna carry out this video throughout the rest of this week or like the week time span that I'm gonna be filming. So basically today I have a long to-do list. Here, let me get it for you guys. Can you see that? That over on the side is my to-do list that I wanna get done. It has so many things. I've done like three so far. I also wanna call my mom today since it is Mother's Day and I'm not with her and I want to tan outside. So I have a lot to get done. I'm gonna to try to be as productive as possible. I just got back from Target. I have stuff in my bag. I'm gonna meal prep a little bit and yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Sorry I didn't vlog much, but we're gonna to try to film more today and the next few days. So yeah, that is what I'm up to. meal prepping so many things so first these are like little zucchini bites that I've been snacking on and I'm gonna eat at lunch and then in here I have some like frozen veggies that are deep thawing and some rice that I made I also shredded some su can't talk shredded some zucchini made some little protein balls which I have a recipe on my food Instagram which I will link down below and then I made two overnight oats so yeah, my fridge is looking nicely prepped for the week ahead because tomorrow's Monday. And it's only 11.06, but I'm getting hungry, so that's why I've been snacking and stuff. And I'm just trying to get as much done as possible before noonish when I go outside to tan. 
Okay, I just got so much stuff done off my to-do list. I'm like halfway done and it's only 12.15 and now I just put on this big sorority t-shirt to go down to the patio. I'm wearing this um, fruit print bikini from Dip and Daisies. I can link their website down below but not this actual suit just because um, I had it last year so they don't have this pattern anymore. But now I am probably gonna tan on the patio until at least three, maybe four o'clock. Depending on how much I get done, I wanna edit my YouTube video and call my mom and do some other stuff all on my computer. So we'll see how productive I can be, but this is the only nice tanning day left before I head back to Wisconsin. So I need to take full advantage of it. So that's where I'm headed. So after tanning, I cleaned up a little bit, had a snack, and then headed out to go shopping a little bit. So I just went to two places. I went to Lululemon and was hoping to buy some tennis skirts, but they did not have any at our little store in Athens. So I left after like two minutes and then I went to Pattaya because I have a gift certificate that my mom gave me literally last year and I'm almost through with this school year. So I wanted to finish that up and I did that today. I bought three things to use up my card. So I'm gonna show you those and now and give you guys a little bit of a clothing haul. So here's the three things that I got. These are not showing up true to color because the sun is going down or not really going down, it's 5 p.m. But like the sun's coming through my blinds. So this is actually like a really bright hot pink color but it's a reversible top and I literally have this exact same top wore it yesterday from Urban Outfitters. So it has a twist top, twist tie in the front and then like just a scoop in the back and it's reversible and you can wear it both ways. And that was 22 bucks. And then this is just a white seamless halter top that's like super open in the back, which was also 22 bucks. And then to finish up my gift certificate, I bought this adorable little bracelet and I've actually been looking for beaded charm jewelry like this but i normally never spend my own money on it so this was eight bucks and i think it's gonna be so cute for summertime so those are the things that i just bought from pataya i'm fully aware that you guys cannot see me like at all so i'm gonna make this super quick sorry i didn't really vlog tonight all i did was watch way too much YouTube, call my mom slash my family since it's Mother's Day and talk to them for like an hour and then finish uploading my YouTube video to go up tomorrow. So that's all I did today, but tomorrow is going to be a fun day. So I will just see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning guys and happy Monday. It is currently like 9 a.m. and my friend is gonna be picking me up at 9.15. I don't know if I ever went over what we're doing today, Basically, we are going indoor rock climbing. My friend found this place. There's three locations in Georgia, two in Atlanta, and then one in Kennesaw. So we are gonna be going to Kennesaw and rock climbing from 11 to one, and that is what we're doing. And it's actually such a great activity for us to do because it's super rainy and gloomy out, so we wouldn't be able to like go for a hike or spend time outside in Atlanta or anything. So. This will be great and then we're gonna go to a different metro Atlanta suburb and grab some lunch and coffee this afternoon and then tonight I am hanging out with two other friends to meet up for the last time before I go home for summer and so do they. So lots of friend interaction today. Not sure how much I will vlog but that is what I am up to. So far this morning, I have been like kind of organizing my place and stuff. My parents don't get here until Thursday and we leave Friday, but I just need to get going on stuff because I have so many plans. So these are textbooks that I'm gonna try to sell back to the bookstore. And I don't know if anyone else does this. Comment down below if your family has ever done this. I always like rip out the pages of my notebooks that I haven't used and I recycle all of that and then keep the metal binding and like the cover that's laminated and throw it in the garbage just so that you know i'm not just producing more waste in the landfill 
just trying to recycle and then these are like buckets of clothes and I was going through and deciding what stuff I want to bring home and then this is a pile for my friend to try on that I'm hanging out with today stuff that doesn't fit me anymore so basically I've just been like organizing a bunch this morning which is productive and good and then I guess I can show you guys my outfit this um cropped sweatshirt is from Abercrombie and Fitch and then I just have a gray crop t-shirt from Aber, not Abercrombie, American Eagle underneath. Tiffany's necklace, um, Anthropology scrunchie. These are the way home shorts from Free People that are super popular, super high-waisted. Guess I'll show you my sports bra. It is from Lululemon. And then my sneakers are tropical printed Nikes. So that is my rock climbing outfit of the day. to admit what time it is. It's literally 7 p.m. and I have not vlogged since 9 a.m. in the morning. If there was a worst vlogger award I'd be getting it this week. I feel like it's just because I've been hanging out with friends and like doing a lot of activities so I totally forget to film when I'm with them but literally all we did was drive to Kennesaw, do the mountain climbing, not mountain climbing, rock climbing for two hours, drove to Roswell, went to a fellow's cafe for lunch, which was super tasty, and then drove to back to Athens and we got back at 4 p.m. So that was like an all day excursion and I did some, take some pictures, so I will include those as I'm talking. And then what did I do? I was so hungry, even though we had eaten lunch at like 1.45. So consumed a lot of food, watched some YouTube, scrolled on TikTok mindlessly, and I just journaled about my past few days, got some grades back. I literally got a 100% on my calculus slash statistics final, which is absolutely insane. And then I also got an A in my management class, so I officially got straight A's in all of my classes, except I got an A minus in my marketing class, which is just so annoying because marketing is my major, but it's okay, it's fine. All A's in an A minus is totally fine as a sophomore in college. So now I'm about to pick an outfit for my sunset photo shoot with my friends. Also, sorry, I keep touching my hair. So I'll show you guys what my outfit is. Maybe I'll vlog with my friends. Probably not, but that is what I'm up to today. Okay, my outfit for taking pictures is literally the most boring thing in the world. It's the gray um, shirt that I was wearing earlier, same necklace, same scrunchie. And then I'm just wearing my black Target high rise denim shorts and my black leather um, Nike Air Force One Sage Lows. So that's my entire outfit. If I'm being honest, I was going to wear jeans, but I gained too much weight in my recovery and they don't fit anymore. So I'm in a grumpy mood and this is the outfit that we're going with and I don't like it. I don't like how I feel. I don't like how I look. But some days are like that in recovery and that is just one of those days. Or this is just one of those days. So yeah, that's my outfit and now I'm gonna go hang out with some friends. I've been packing up clothes. Also need to try on a bunch of clothes because they also don't fit. So that is my mood for tonight. I will either do some montage clips, catch you guys later, or catch you guys tomorrow. morning guys it is like 8 15 and I just wrapped up a lower body workout I did a Caroline Gervin lower body she posted it this morning and I did it I love her workouts because they're not like beginner workouts but I'm not like huffing and puffing dying at the end either it's good in between so I if I remember I will link the exact workout down below for you guys now I'm eating woo, some chocolate protein oatmeal I'm gonna probably watch some YouTube do some computer work order some stuff back home like protein powder that I'm out of so that I'm restocked when I get back. Just a bunch of like little computer work. I honestly have no plans today except like household chores. Like 
I have to do hand wash dishes. I need to Swiffer and vacuum my apartment and do like three loads of laundry. So not a super fun day, but that is what I'm taking you guys along with. So yeah, cheers. And I'm just going to catch you guys later. my washer in the background I am doing a load of laundry and also I have it so close because I have my address over here but I'm just shipping some Nespresso pods to my home in Wisconsin so that I can have pods ready to go for my Nespresso machine that I'm bringing back so this is my favorite double espresso and then I'm also trying the iced version because normally it's sold out so I want to try that this is my favorite black coffee pod that's like eight ounces, like a regular cup of coffee. And then that is the single espresso that I buy. And then whenever you buy stuff on Nespresso's website, you always get a free sample. So that's the one I chose. And then I also need another recycling bag to put my pods in. And I actually need to go to UPS later today and drop off all that pods that I use this school year. That bag is full. And that's all that I used this year. But yeah, that is what I am buying from Nespresso. Hey guys, it's like 3.15 and I've been actually pretty productive today, but at the same time, it's been a super slow day. So I'm currently on my third load of laundry. I'm gonna start the dryer as soon as I finish this clip. I dropped off my Nespresso pods at the UPS store, bought a few bananas so they that so that they can ripen over the next few days, called my mom, canceled my plans to Atlanta tomorrow because it's gonna be super rainy, and I don't feel like trying to occupy myself when I actually have no plans or anything to do there. So I don't, I don't feel like driving two hours to go to Atlanta. So not doing that anymore. I think I might like cut my nails in a little bit, maybe go for a walk or something and organize clothes. I don't know, really haven't been up to much. You're not missing anything. Just drinking a vanilla latte and I'll catch you guys later. Okay, a little life update. It is 7 p.m. and all you missed was me chaotically trying to get gas. I had to go to four different gas stations to find one that actually had gas available for me to get because apparently, I don't watch the news, so my parents had to tell me this. There were like Russian hackers that affected a pipeline here in Georgia and so people are like hoarding gas and the gas stations are literally running out of gas. So that is not good because my parents are heading down to pick me up literally tomorrow. And they're very nervous about running out of gas on their way down or our way back up to Wisconsin. So I was lucky enough to fill up gas, but now I am 100% not going to Atlanta tomorrow because I will not be driving my car any extra miles because I don't think I'm gonna get any more gas. So that is my little life update, my little world update, not really world, my little Georgia update. And I'm gonna go take a shower, put away the rest of my laundry and probably watch some YouTube for the rest of the night because you know, it's summer break, so I don't have any obligations. So that is what I will be doing. I look absolutely disgusting and I have so many pimple patches on my face. It is 9 p.m. I just mindlessly scrolled on TikTok for like an hour probably. And I'm gonna get ready for bed and go to bed early, wake up early and kickstart my Wednesday. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. One last thing before I go to bed. Does anyone else do this? I push off putting away my laundry until the time when I want to go to bed. And I so desperately just want to hop into bed. But instead, I have to put away all of this clothing before I can go to bed. So that is my first world problem right now. But I will catch you guys in the morning. Wednesday so I think it's like almost 10 a.m. 
I planned on working out this morning, but I was just so exhausted when my alarm went off at 6 a.m. So I slept in until 7, ate breakfast. I edited my thumbnail for this video and exported some clips from this week so far and also watched a bunch of YouTube. My parents are heading down towards Athens today and I think we're all good with the gas situation. My dad is going to take his Tesla, well, my mom and dad are gonna come down in the Tesla so that gas is not an issue for them. And then all my car needs to do is get up to Tennessee and then we'll fill it up as soon as we get there. So that's good that we have like an electric car option. And I'm looking outside of my window and it's like downpouring right now. So I won't be like going for a walk today or like really doing anything outside. And my parents will probably kill me if I used my car. So I'm just gonna be chilling in my apartment. I still might go get my nails done or something, but yeah, nothing much is happening yet this morning. It's currently like 2 p.m. and I'm about to head out and hopefully get a walk-in nail appointment at Sugar Nail Bar here in Athens. It's over in the Mark, so like a 10 minute walk from me. And I called and the lady who's really good at nail art is booked up, but I'm hoping I can get a walk-in with someone else who can do nail art for me. If not, I am not going to do it because I'm so bad at telling them that I don't like the design as they're doing it, even if it's all messed up. So I'm just not going to put myself through that process. So we'll see if I get my nails done. If I don't, I'm going to go get myself some coffee from a thousand faces to treat myself. I'm really just so freaking bored. I went downstairs and I worked out for like an hour or so. I didn't do like weight training or anything because I didn't feel like it. So I just walked on an incline and did the elliptical while listening to Gals on the Go. And then I made an acai bowl. And now I've just been sitting here texting my mom and procrastinating going out and getting my nails done because it's literally 53 degrees and rainy right now. So I don't want to go outside, but I am going to do it give myself some vlog content for you guys. So that's what we're gonna go do and let's just do it now. But that is what I'm up to, so let's go do it. I just got my nails done and I literally never get nail art on all of my nails because it's so expensive and I am cheap but I bit the bullet today because I copied a style that my friend did at the exact same nail place and I literally spent 71 bucks on the nail design it was $40 up charge for the nail art and then a $15 tip on top of that so I spent 85 bucks on my nails just now but they are so cute and they're different on both hands. I'll give you a better look when I get back to my apartment, but I'm walking to a thousand faces to buy myself a coffee and my mom two bags of coffee. So that is my update. Okay, I just got back from a thousand faces. I got my mom two bags of coffee and then I got myself a drip coffee with oat milk yeah you can't see it um but i thought i'd show you guys my nails up close in case you want like inspiration photo or something here's what they look like i mean i'm obsessed with them but it pains me that i just spent 85 bucks on my nails um my friend and i said i can justify it with like end of the school year treat yourself i'm gonna call them my birthday nails even though my birthday's in like three weeks but you know what? If you want to spend money on yourself and treat yourself to some cute nails, just do it. You can't take your money to the grave. You only live once. And if cute nails are going to make you so happy for the next three to four weeks, then just do it. So there's my nails and I will catch you guys later. Okay, it's 7.45 and I just exported all the clips from this video so far and like put them in iMovie to start editing them because I have nothing to do and I do not need to watch more YouTube. So I decided to do something productive and edit. And all of the clips already go up to 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna stop the vlog here. 
I promise you, you're not gonna miss anything tomorrow. Like all I'm gonna do is pack up stuff because I leave the next day. And I've kind of already showed you that process and it's really not that interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even though I wasn't the best vlogger, I hope you saw something interesting or enjoyed watching nonetheless. I can't wait to take you guys along on my summer adventures. I don't have any like solidified plans, but I have a ton of fun plans in the works and I can't wait to take you guys along. So don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future content. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.